Okay, here's an intermediate blender tutorial, and this is a really important one for those of you who might have an interest in using um, rigid bodies with deforming meshes, because basically it doesn't do it right now. So this is version 2.68, and then it doesn't do it. You can see this is actually a rigid body. It's got that little green green around it, but in reality, when it lands on this wave surface, which is a dynamic paint surface, then it's actually just not bouncing around it's just bouncing on the flat surface which was the original mesh but I wanted to be able to affect it like this however let's just pause this for a second and I'm going to take it and move it over here to a different portion of the surface right and so this is still should be just the flat portion of the mesh but let's see what happens in this area of the mesh alright so let's run it and look at that the mesh actually is affecting the rigid body yet I'm working in 2.68 version 2.68a that's not possible right and well, it's not. Actually, it's not until version, I think, 2.70 that deforming meshes are supposed to be part of the rigid body physics within Blender Render. So this is a trick that I used in order to, if you saw my tsunami video, I wanted to break apart the dock. And so this is the trick that I used to be able to make things bust the dock apart. So and it is a trick, but it works. In fact, you can be very, you can make it more than a trick and make it a very accurate representation. And I got to thinking about it because somebody had emailed me in a comment recently asking how you could do it. And the more I thought about it, then I came up with this trick. But you can see the mesh is truly deforming in shape. And it's a deforming because I have, uh, this is just a dynamic paint surface right here with waves bouncing it. And I have an object over here generating the waves. All right, so now let's go see how I actually do it. If you, that is, if you need to do this effect, otherwise you can wait till version 2.71 and you won't have to worry about it. So I have a few objects turned off in here, it restricted viewing in the viewport, and that's this, 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 and this. Okay, so what these are, are these are also rigid body objects. So they're set to active here, like this, and if you've seen my tutorial on how to float a boat, what I did in that particular tutorial was I've parented objects to a mesh. Like for, I'll just do that with this here. Let's even go back to the beginning before the deformation. Oh no, I can't get back to the beginning of it where it's square. So I'll just make a copy of this anyway. Shift D X and I'll move that over here and I'll do Alt R. I'm gonna clear the rotation on that. Alt R, huh? I guess that's its new rotation. Doesn't like it. Well, so you'll get, kind of get the idea. So in order to make this work say let's put this cube over here like that just tr try and straighten that a little bit and I put it down towards the mesh and then and then I want to parent it to the mesh and this is just the same trick I used with how to float a boat and it's a great trick for making things work so basically I s select that here and then I shift select this here and before I parent it I go tab and then I'm going to go vertex select and I want to pick three vertices around this object so I want to pick one two say those three vertices because you can parent one or three vertices so then I'm going to press control P and make it a vertex parent all right so that's parented to that mesh well it was where the heck did it go maybe when you start off with it have to form like that it's not going to work well let's run it well, there it is. It's kind of hidden below the surface. It doesn't matter. We can move it up above the surface anyway. And have it start wherever. But you can see, because it is parented to the... Started at that level. Whoops. Rx. But because it's parented to the mesh, then it bounces with it. And then this being a rigid body, that allows it to collide with other rigid bodies in the scene. And then you just go hide everything, just like I did before. Just turn those all off. And there we go. And so, and that's the trick. There's the one last trick that you have to know is make sure that on these things, that for the rigid body, that they're set to animated. All right? And then, then you would be good to go. Then you can do mesh deformation with rigid bodies. And, uh, and otherwise, you just wait till 2.70 comes out, and you can probably just click a button, and it instantly becomes a deforming mesh. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.